We have a shaft which is made of AISI 4130 steel and it is loaded with a bending moment of 150 Nm and a torque of 300 Nm. Our goal is to determine the safety factor against brittle fracture. Since K3C is unknown, we will assume that it is equal to K1C over 2. From table 8.1 for AISI 4130 steel, the critical stress intensity factor is equal to 110 MPa square root meters. And the yielding strength is equal to 1090 MPa. And from figure 8.14, we have the information that B is equal to D over T diameter over 2 and it is equal to 10 millimeters and then alpha is equal to A over B which is 1.5 over 10 and it is 0 0.15 and finally Beta is equal to 1 minus alpha and it is equal to 0 0.85. From figure 8.14 again, but from part C, we know that K3 will be equal to form factor times Sg times phi times A. This is the stress intensity factor on torque. And for this equation, we have a form factor which will be equal to 3 over 8 times beta to the power of 2.5 times 1 plus 1 over 2 beta plus 3 over 8 times beta squared plus 5 over 16 times beta cube plus 35 over 128 times beta to the power of 4 and finally 0 0.208 beta to the power of 5. And when we compute this form factor for beta is equal to 0 0.85, we will obtain f is equal to 1.195. Let's calculate sg. sg will be 2 times the torque over pi times b cube. And when we substitute the values, we will obtain 2 times 300 newton meters over pi times 10 millimeters cube and we will obtain sg is equal to 190.98 mpa since we calculated f and sg we can now calculate k3 k3 will be 1.195 times 190.98 MPa times square root of pi times 1.5 millimeters. K3 will be equal to 15. Point 67 MPa square root meters. Now let's calculate K1. This time we will use figure 8.14 part B. We know that K1 is generally equal to Kp plus Km. This is the stress in intensity factor on axial force and this is the stress intensity factor on the moment but we don't have an axial force so this is zero 
and k1 will be equal to kn which will be equal to f times sg times pi times the correct length in this case we have the equation for the form factor s And when we calculate for beta is equal to 0 0.85, we will obtain f is equal to 1.277. Let's calculate sg. sg in this case will be equal to 4m over pi b cube. And it will be equal to 4 times 150 newton meters over pi times 10 millimeters cube so that sg will be equal to again 190.98 mpa so we can now calculate k1 it will be equal to the form factor times sg times pi times 1.5 millimeters so that k1 will be equal to 16.74 mpa squared meters from equation 8.33 we have the information that k1 over k1 c plus square plus k3 over k3 c square will be equal to 1 and we know that we will assume k3 c as k1 c over 2 so that k1 c will be equal to k1 square plus 4k3 square at fracture let's define a k bar to use to calculate safety factor against brittle fracture and this time it will be k1 square which is 16.74 square plus 4 times k3 square which is 15.67 and we will have k bar is equal to 35.53 mpa squared meters so that our safety factor against brittle fracture will be critical stress intensity factor over k bar and it will be 110 mpa square root meters over 35.53 mpa square root meters and we will have 3.1